hello welcome once again in this video we will learn how we can call a post apis using rest assured to call a post api using rest assured we will first we need to have a, a post api call post apis so here we will use this create api uh, the ui uri will be this one and and the request will be slash api slash users and this is as you can see that we want to create a user the username will be morpheus and his job will be leader and if we successfully able to create this user we will get a response code which is 201 so we will first create the user using our api using our rest assured so let us first create a java class and name it as post api okay now inside the java class let us create a function which is public void check post api and this function we will be using the test ng annotation which is test so first thing is that we have to write the uri or the url so the uri will be this one rdqres.in so we will copy it and paste it here and the locator or you can say the request will be the request will be this one slash api slash users so let us copy this again okay so the request uh, now the uri and the request is ready now you have to make the final api call which is string equals to api equals to uri plus request Once we do that, our UR API call is ready. For creating a user, we here you can see that this is create. For this one, we have to send the JSON. So we have to build this JSON. So let us now check how we can build this JSON. We will be building this JSON using a JSON object. So we will be using JSON object, JSON object equals to new json object now inside the json object we will be need to put this element so we will use the put and check what it should be in a key value pair so we will be looking for the of key and the value the key will be this name this one will be the key and this one will be the value so let us copy this one and paste it there and the second part will be this one let us copy it and paste it here we have another element which is job leader so the same way we will be doing json object dot put and the same way we will be using job and leader fine now we have to serialize it so we will be using a payload variable which is equals to json object dot to json string okay json this part is used to prepare our json so let us write it here prepare the payload json payload okay so the first part is the preparation of the url so prepare the request uri or url the second part is the prepare the json now the third part is the actual execution or the json call sorry execute the post call 
the same way we will be executing the post call using our request specification so we will write request specification request specification equals to rest assured this one rest assured dot given dot we have to set the content type the content type here is application slash json okay now it will be again dot now you have to send the body here as authorization is not required so we did not to think about the authorization here so only we what we need to do is to send the body and which one is the body inside the body our payload will be this payload variable contains the entire data of this json so we will pass this payload so here completes our session of uh, creating a request specification now we have to capture the response here so again we will be using a response variable and here we will be using request specification dot now the call is the post call as you can see the call here is the post call for the create we will be using the post call so we have to call here also we will be using our method called post and inside that we have to call this api this variable api call because this contains the entire enter the execute uh, request url so we have to import it let us import the class now let us check the status code let us write the in status code for post call equals to response dot get status code okay and let us print the status code system dot out dot print ln the status code for post call is this is right the status code this is one of the status code now we can also write the status line so for that we have to do string status line for post call equals to same way we will be doing everything with the response the response dot get status line right and the same way we can write the status line also here let us print it status line for the post call is this one right. so this ends the uh, coding part of uh, this post calls let us check what we have done just remove these unnecessary imports so practically what we have done is that we have prepared the url here here we have prepared the url which url we want to uh, practically which resource under the url we want to hit that we have uh, prepared so this one is the URL, uri this one is a request and this is the entire request this api call holds the entire request now the next thing is that we need to send the object or the json object so for that we will be preparing a json object and then we will be converting into a string okay we are, we are preparing a json object and then we are converting it to a string then we will be executing the post call and uh, this post call is the same way as we have done with the get call but here we has we need to send the body that's where we have to send the body inside the body we will be using the data that we have created in the string format we will be passing it inside the body function now the thing is that now the response we will be capturing the data and here it will be post call now the other part are all the same there is no difference in the other part these are all the same things happening okay so let us now execute and check how our code is performing or we are having any error or not so let us running mvn clean test let us check so 
so if our code is running properly then we will be getting two things one is the status code for this line status code for post call is 201 because here it is saying that the response will be 201 okay so we will be getting that and also we will be getting the post call the uh, status line also so our execution is complete and we can see that the status code is 200 yes so it is running well and the status line is also printing it to http 101.1 and this 201 is created uh, till now i have shown you using the rest assured how you can hit a get call and how you can hit a post call so that's it for today and we will come back once again with another new lecture in the rest assured series till then bye bye and keep learning